Make this the year you finally move beyond ramen. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 5 best cookbooks to learn how to cook. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the best cookbooks for beginners that cover a wide range of recipes and techniques. Number 5. Cravings by Chrissy Teigen You probably know her for her funny online presence and modeling career, not to mention being married to John Legend. But did you know that Chrissy Teigen is also a masterful cook? Who better to learn from than the women you'd love to be BFFs with? Teigen's book is called Cravings, and that should give you an indication of what you'll find inside. There's not rabbit food here. Though she maintains a supermodel body, Teigen clearly loves to eat and doesn't hold back when it comes to consuming comfort food. I really enjoy the process of really doing everything by hand, and there's something really special about that, and I feel like people can taste that. Number 4. Barefoot Contessa at Home by Ina Garten Ina Garten is basically life goals. With her idyllic house in the Hamptons, parade of delightful dinner guests, and enviable relationship with her beloved husband, Jeffrey. This is the best chicken I ever had. <laughs> you said that every Friday. You may not conveniently have a well-tended vegetable garden in your backyard, so it might be impossible to completely replicate her fab lifestyle. But you can at least copy some of her most popular recipes. I'm gonna make waffles. What would the Barefoot Contessa do? Exactly. Barefoot Contessa at Home was her fifth book, and was released in 2006. Her books all look more like coffee table books than more technical cookbooks, offering large glossy photos of each recipe for your inspiration. And this must-have is no different. Hi, neighbor. I'm Ina Garten. You know, my husband Jeffrey is away, and I've got some bruschetta and a white wine open. Why don't you come over? I'm alive! Number 3. The Better Homes and Gardens New Cookbook by Meredith Corporation you probably recognize the iconic Ingham printed cover of this classic cookbook from the shelves of your grandmother's kitchen. This new cookbook has been around since the 1930s, though there have been numerous revisions to add more current recipes. With over 1,400 recipes, the Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook covers pretty much anything you could want to learn, and most importantly goes over the basics of cooking techniques. This book gained popularity because of the simplicity and ease of its recipes. And nearly a century later, it's a great one for beginners. Number 2. How to Cook Everything by Mark Bittman New York Times food writer Mark Bittman created this seminal cookbook in 1998, and its title is no exaggeration. One of the ideas behind this book was to give home cooks the basics, and teach them to expand upon them on their own. I don't have time to cook. I don't know how to cook. Those are the two, the two things that keep people from cooking. They claim they don't know how, and it takes too much time. Bittman offers simple recipes, and then gives suggestions on how they can be altered in dozens of ways. Since this book is meant to be all-encompassing, it covers kitchen tools and techniques, as well as the more standard cookbook fare. It's a challenge, if you don't know how to cook, to believe that you can do it. But you can, and it's important that people believe that. The 10th anniversary edition was released in 2008, with tons of new content. And now there's even an app you can download that covers much of the same material as the books. Number 1. Joy of Cooking by Irma S. Rombauer in 1936, a book was released that would change the face of middle-class American cooking. And it wasn't written by a chef or professional. Irma S. Rombauer was just a regular homemaker, who was going through a rough time after her husband's death. She paid to have the book published privately, but it went on to sell over 18 million copies. If it's not in here, you shouldn't be cooking it. What made the book unique was Rombauer's first-person voice, which lent a narrative thread to it. There have been many changes made to the book in editions published over the years, so be sure to do your research when choosing a copy. The index is a complete calamity. If you're looking for city chicken, you're not going to find it under C. Really? Some swear by the original content, while some prefer the more modern versions. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.